Hello guys and welcome to another video, this is Lyakura's Moments and today we're gonna take a quick view at the newer wall mounting boom arm. So if you're interested in building a permanent setup for overhead photography or videography or you just wanna save some space by mounting couple of equipment above you like light soft boxes or even your microphones then you should definitely check this boom arm. Let's start! Alright, so actually last year we made a similar video about the newer horizontal tripod arm extension which is a great product and you can easily mount it on any tripod and set it up very easy for your overhead shooting. The only problem with this is that it's taking a lot of space and also you have to set it up every time you wanna shoot something. And I still believe it's a great product and I would recommend for someone that doesn't have a permanent wall to put this one that I'm gonna review today or for his content he actually need to change location so you just take it, move it, mount it on a tripod and use it again so it's very practical. If you wanna see after my video review about it you can find it in the description below. And now for users that have a permanent office studio where you shoot your overheads or you want to mount a couple of your equipment around you then this boomer mounted on a wall or even the ceiling can make your work so much more comfortable and save a lot of space as you won't have tripods all around you. The boomer comes in these packets, it's well protected with this bubble bag and it includes four expansion screws. Immediately you can feel that it's a durable product made of strong aluminium and it weighs 2.29 kilograms. The boom arm has adjustable length. The length when it's closed is 80 centimeters and when it's extended it can go up to 130 centimeters. You can always manually adjust the length, swivel the boom arm to different angles from 0 to 180 degrees, move it up and down or fold it flat against the wall if needed to save space. And that means that you can really set it up according to your needs and you can adjust it anytime very easily by tweaking one two bolts and find the perfect position for your gear. The triangle structure adds stability to the boom arm but of course make sure to mount it and secure it to a solid wall. To mount it on the wall I didn't use the four screws included in the package, we used some different one and also I didn't do it myself, I asked the help of someone who can do it correctly. There is also this silver adapter that's come with it, one side is 3 8 inch screw and the other side is 1 4 inch screw. So that basically covers everything you will need to mount on it, on the 1.4 inch screw you can mount directly your camera but I choose to put this ball head on the 3 8 inch screw and above I can put my camera and this gives you just more control because you can move it to all directions. This ball head is also from newer, it's a great tool to use with your camera and of course I'll put a link in the description below so you can find it on Amazon. Okay, now a small demonstration how it actually works. So as you can see, we mount on the wall, everything ready. Here I have this silver adapter, right, that we got in the package. On it I mounted my ball head where I'm gonna put my camera after. So this thing you can put it in any of these three holes here, so you have one here, one here and here, so you can put it, put it under, but I'm going to put it here on this side because it's more convenient for me. So we screw here to make it secure, so it's there. Of course, before I, I always prefer before putting the camera, not that it matters, but to adjust it how I want it, you know, make it longer. You can make this fold longer, this is the maximum, right here you can see, and this is of course the minimum, you screw it back and you secure it. I'm gonna leave it here in the middle. Except of this, you, except of this you can control over here, if you wanna make it down, up, and have to secure it. So I'm gonna leave it right here, and of course this can move like this. So we have a 180 degrees movement with this arm here. So it's actually covering everything that I want. Let's make it a bit shorter. And my ball head have this adapter here, which I mount in the camera over here. And then we put it on our ball head over here. We 
will secure it. Right now my camera is a bit on the side, so this is the good thing to have the bolt head because you can actually fix it very easy. So I'm putting it straight and now my camera is very straight. And at the same time I want to give you, I want to show you the example how it looks like on the table. So let's open the camera and if you have a tilt screen like this, you just turn it around and you can see what you're going to be recording, right? Right now you can see my hands and I have some toys here, some cars and this is how the overhead shooting looks like, the overhead photography or videography or whatever you want. Of course, as we said, you can mount here a microphone, lights or, or something, you know, have them maybe taller above you or maybe put a second one to have above you for lighting or for, for putting your microphone. So it's actually pretty amazing, guys. At the end, it's a very convenient equipment to have for your overheads or installing your gear. And comparing to the previous horizontal arm extension that I had, this saves so much space around you because you don't have tripods and you can move and work much more easily and also adjust the position of your gear how you want it. Alright, if you find this video useful, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. And on the next video right here, you can check my review about the horizontal arm extension from newer that we said before and maybe it suits you better. Check it out.